Hello and welcome to Asus UK. This time we are checking out one of our new graphics cards. This is the Asus GTX 950 Unplugged. So you might be thinking that the GTX 950 and the Strix GTX 950 have been around for a while now, they've been out for a couple of months. So what exactly makes this one, which we're calling the Unplugged version, a bit special? Well, the clue is pretty much in the name. Since this is the unplugged version, it doesn't require any 6-pin or 8-pin power connectors. You can plug it straight into a PCIe slot and it will start working just fine. So this is particularly good for a lot of older systems which might not have those 6-pin or 8-pin power connectors, or they might just be a particularly low wattage and can't handle the power draw of a bigger card. So this means the GTX 950 Unplugged makes a really good upgrade to almost any system because there are very few requirements for it actually working. Although we do talk a lot at ACES about very high-end systems, the reality is that a lot of people are either using lower-end or slightly older hardware. So a card like this, which has very few requirements whatsoever, actually makes the perfect upgrade for a lot of users. We've managed to find the perfect example of a system in our stockroom. So this PC is about five years old. Some of the components are okay. It has an i7-2600 in here, the Sandy Bridge i7. But sadly, the GTX 210 leaves a lot to be desired in terms of gaming performance. And it also has only a 350 watt PSU with no six pin or eight pin connectors. So this is exactly the kind of system that you might want to use a GTX 950 to upgrade with. We set up this system as it stands to play a couple of popular games at the moment. So we had it run CSGO, Dota 2, and GTA 5. And as you can see by the benchmarks that are on screen at the moment, the results are less than ideal. Both CSGO and Dota were showing around 15 FPS at the settings that we used at 1080p, which is pretty much unplayable by most standards. In GTA 5, on absolute minimum settings at 1080p, you can expect to get a shocking 5 FPS. Since this PC came with a 350 watt power supply with no 6 pin connector, we previously would be stuck for decent graphics card options. However, with the 950, it will work in here just fine, and that is exactly what we've done and used for an upgrade. Okay, so we've installed our GTX 950, and it's time to run some benchmarks again. On the same settings we were using before, there are some huge differences in frame rate. Even though we've only changed one component at a cost of just over £100, it looks like we're playing on a whole new system. Hopefully you'll agree that these games are very much playable now with CSGO running at 150 frames plus, Dota 2 running at around 100, and GTA 5 running at 60 frames a second. Across the board, we are seeing massive, massive increases in frame rates, which is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a simple and not massively expensive upgrade can do to a system like this. If you're struggling to play games on your slightly older or lower end desktop, I would definitely recommend checking out the GTX 950 Unplugged. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'm going to go play some CSGO, see you next time. Asus.